I'm Nicole from Terran. Thanks for joining us today. We've put together an ArcGIS story map of Alberta roadside attractions. It's a great example of one of the many benefits of using ArcGIS online. There are literally hundreds of interesting roadside attractions across Canada. Here's just a few from Alberta. Our first stop is high level. Here we will find the big red chairs and totem pole. They're located at the Mackenzie Crossroads Museum and Visitors Centre. The museum aims to promote the history and development of the area from the 1900s to the present by collecting, preserving, and exhibiting artifacts along with providing educational programs while supporting and promoting local tourism. Next, we head south to Fowler. This is where we're going to find the world's largest honeybee. Did you know that Fowler is known as the honey capital of Canada? It exhibits a huge bee measuring 22 feet 8 inches long and 7 feet 7 inches in diameter. The town is famous for their thriving beekeeping industry and every June the town celebrates the beginning of summer with their annual honey festival. Next stop, Beaver Lodge. This is where we're going to find a giant beaver sculpture. Considered a must-see in northwestern Alberta, this 1,500-pound beaver resting on a 1,500-pound log is an engineered marvel. It's located on Highway 43 in Beaver Lodge, and the beaver statue itself me measures 18 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 10 feet tall. The log is 5 feet high and 20 feet long. It's known as the Beaver Project and was initiated by a local entrepreneur. Next stop, Barhead, where we're going to meet Aaron the Blue Heron. The Great Blue Heron is a prominent figure in local lore of Barhead, and it's the town's official mascot. A statue of the bird, Aaron the Blue Heron, was built in 1984. It stands 8 feet tall on a pedestal that is 4 feet high, and is constructed out of rebar, wire mesh, and concrete. Next, we'll head over to Glendon. This is where we're going to find the world's largest pierogi. You are going to need a ton of sour cream for the 6,000 pound roadside tribute to the pierogi located in Glendon, Alberta. It was constructed in 1993 and stands 27 feet tall and it's considered one of the giants of the prairies. You can find this impressive dumpling on Pierogi Drive by Pierogi Park. Now if only we had some kielbasa. Next stop, St. Paul. Here we will find a UFO landing pad. Everyone's welcome in St. Paul, and we mean everyone. The town is home to the world's first UFO landing pad. It was built from 130 tons of steel and concrete in 1967, and the landmark itself has attracted visitors from around the world. After you head here and get a selfie with an alien on a landing pad, you can head over to the adjacent UFO Tourist Information Center, where downstairs you can view actual photographs of UFOs, crop circles, and cattle mutilations. Our next stop is the village of Vilna. Here we are going to find the world's largest mushrooms. This giant sculpture is a replica of mushrooms which grow wild in the area. You can find this 18,000 pound replica one block east of Main Street in Mushroom Park. Next we head over to Andrew. Here we're going to find the world's largest mallard. Weighing in at one ton and a wingspan of 23 feet, the village is home to the world's largest mallard duck. It pays tribute to its duck breeding grounds in the local wetlands. Next up, Mundare. Here we will find the world's largest Ukrainian sausage. At a tourist rest area in Mundare, you can find a 12,000 pound sausage. This ginormous piece of meat stands 42 feet high and can withstand winds of 160 kilometers per hour. Now, where is that pierogi? Our next stop is Vegreville, where we'll find the world's largest pasenka. One of the main tourist attractions along the Yellowhead Highway is a giant sculpture of a pasenka, otherwise known as a Ukrainian style Easter egg. This 31 foot long, three and a half story high egg is visited by thousands of tourists every year. Now we'll head east to Lloydminster. Here we will find provincial border markers. The first of the high pillars symbolizes oil and gas. The second represents agriculture, the third bar colonists, and the fourth represents First Nations and Métis. These 100 foot high markers stand on the boundary on the third and fourth meridian. You can actually stand in two provinces at once. 
Our next stop is the village of Chauvin. Here we'll find the world's largest softball. This happy ball of fun goes by the name of Susie, and she can be found in the village of Chauvin. She's said to be about six feet in diameter and made from an old fiberglass tank. While in Chauvin, you can explore the history of the community through a walking tour of several historical landmarks or plan a tour of the museum housed in the former schoolhouse. Next on our list is Donalda. Here we'll find the world's largest lamp. The town of Donalda, Alberta not only has an outstanding lamp collection, it is home to this 42 feet high, 17 foot wide oil lamp replica. It's the largest in the world. It was a Millennium Project officially opening on July 1st, 2000. Our next stop is Drumheller, where we're going to find the largest dinosaur in the world. Weighing in at 145,000 pounds and standing 86 feet high, this giant model of a female Tyrannosaurus rex is something you just must see to believe. Take the 106 stair climb to the top for a view like none other. Our next stop is Airdrie. Here we will find a giant cowboy statue. This cattleman stands over 30 feet tall, and believe it or not, he wears fabric clothes. It is not uncommon to see this handsome fellow sporting a Calgary Flames jersey. He's also known as the Canadian Cowboy. Our next stop is Vulcan. Here we will find the Starship Enterprise replica. Are you ready to boldly go where no man has gone before? Well, if you consider yourself a Trekkie, then you've probably already been here. But for the rest of us, you can find the Starship Enterprise replica in the town of Vulcan, Alberta. Vulcan, known as the home world of Spock and his fellow Vulcans, became a worldwide known tourist attraction boasting a Star Trek themed tourist center. The town is known as the official Star Trek capital of Canada. Our last stop is Medicine Hat, where we will find the Sami's Teepee. This massive historic structure is made of 800 tons of steel and concrete. With 10 large circular storyboards depicting aspects of native culture and history, it was originally built for the Calgary 1988 Winter Olympic Games in tribute to Canada's native heritage, and it was moved to Medicine Hat three years later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on social media.